guys welcome back to my channel hope everybody is well doing good um so i'm back with another video and this video was really inspired by some questions that i keep getting now i know that when starting to wear makeup you might be confused with what you should get or what you will need and sometimes you might tend to go for uh, more expensive brands because those are what um, like people around you use but I'm here to tell you today that you don't necessarily have to use expensive makeup like MAC and other high-end makeup to have a flawless face this video is about makeup you will need for your starter kit or makeup that beginners to me should have you need to get concealer and i will recommend this um elegial pro concealer one because it's cheap it's like two dollars to us dollars or less according to where you get it from it has good coverage it's thick in consistency um it have a lot of shade variations to me the main thing that makes your makeup look good is your eyebrows if your eyebrows are good your face is good and to get your your eyebrows on point you must use a concealer to define your brows so what you need is a simple any brown eyeliner pencil for my darker complexion people put your eyebrows in shape mainly the inner corners and the outer corner you draw them how you want and then you fill in your eyebrows using the same pencil and then you're gonna use a spoonie this you're gonna need a spoonie or an eyebrow comb either one will do drying in your eyebrow using the pencil you're gonna use the spoonie and you shade out the harsher lines make it more settled and then you just brush your eyebrows into place you're gonna need a brow brush this is how a brow brush look because this helps you to to control the amount of product you use you're gonna want to be rational when it comes to using a concealer because too much of concealer it will leave like a harsh line above and below your eyebrows and you don't need that define your eyebrows properly and after you're gonna need it to blend in the excess concealer now for your face you're gonna need a foundation now this foundation is a little higher end foundation but I'm only using this today because my elf flawless foundation is out there is so much other good foundations out there i've made a list of some that i wanted to tell you guys that you can try because these are very good foundations they give good coverage and if once you find the correct shade in most of them trust me they will work just as good as mac i will also leave the list of these foundation down in the description bar below so you can check that out but for now the l'oreal true blend can um foundation is a very very good foundation it blends well with your skin the only problem with this l'oreal true blend foundation is that it don't have much darker tones inside of it so once you find your the perfect shade that matches your complexion really good this is a very good con um foundation i keep saying conceal i don't know why this is a very good foundation um, another good foundation is the elf flawless foundation that's the one that i normally go to when i'm using drugstore makeup mainly because it's available to me the cocoa it fits me really good so i go for that another good foundation is the revlon color stay foundation now this i would recommend above all else it has a good bit of color you will most likely be able to find your shade in that it gives you a very good co um, coverage so if you have a lot of blemishes and stuff this is a very good um, drugstore foundation to use and finally I have here the black opal stick foundation now me personally I've never used this uh, black opal stick foundation 
but a friend of mine that is what she used all the time and it works really good for her i admire the way it looks on her give her a very good coverage and flawless and clean now me personally i've never used it because the one time i tried to buy it i couldn't find a shade that really matches me well but i can vouch for it and i can tell you the black opal black opal stick foundation is a very good foundation as well you must have a liquid eyeliner it doesn't matter what liquid eyeliner but a liquid eyeliner works best to make a wing i lack eyeliner pencil it, it's not dark enough for your upper um, eyeliner. I've tried using an eyeliner pencil before to line my upper line and it won't work so you must use liquid eyeliner sorry this is a, not, a next must have you need a mascara if you can't apply your own false eyelashes you don't need to go and pay thirty dollars to have somebody put them on to, for you you use the mascara and you volumize your eyelashes some mascaras help to lengthen your eyelashes some just make them a little bit thicker and at this moment i'm not wearing any eyelashes just this mascara and i find my makeup look pretty good another thing you're gonna need is for your face is a powder now you don't have to necessarily use the same brand in powder as you use in your foundation nonsense you know you just need a powder that would mattify your face because most foundation even though they say long lasting if you don't use a powder your face is gonna get oily throughout the day or greasy somewhat especially if it's a liquid foundation moving on you're gonna also need a lipstick a red lipstick fits any body if you are a starter or what shade will fit your complexion or you're not really used to wearing lipstick so you want to start with something more subtle a red lipstick is always best you don't need like a bright red lipstick like Gwen Stefani and, and Marilyn Monroe and the others it's normal something that's not too popping but at the same time something that's not too gothic so a red lipstick to me is essential moving on to our eyeshadows to me once you've lined your your upper eyelids that's all you need for eyeshadow you don't need no pretty eyeshadows above your eyes to make you look like a clown if you feel like your eyes are too bare and you want something over your eyes don't write pink you don't know how to blend properly go for something more neutral something that's natural looking it matches anything you're wearing it matches any complexion whether you're lighter skin tone darker skin tone eyeshadow is not essential to your starter kit to me because your wing eyeliner is good enough it gives it gives your eyes enough attention for starters you don't necessarily need foundation brush a stipple brush or any brush at all to apply your foundation for starters I would recommend that you use your hands mainly because it will allow you to control the amount of product you put on your face and it will also allow you to blend in your makeup into your skin properly and more controllably I should say yeah but if, if that's too messy for you and you prefer to use a brush I would recommend a stipple brush now a stipple brush is one of those brushes that is thick in the roots but have more thinner fibers to the end like this this is kind of dirty but you get the point this allow you to press the foundation into your skin and blend it properly and also to me a stipple brush give you more coverage than any other thing you use any other brushes or even your hands another brush that you will need is a powder brush now you will need this powder brush to apply your face powder because most of the time those sponges that come inside of your powder it picks up two product at a time take a lot more time to have all that blending I would not recommend you use these sponges that come inside of your face powder for a beginner because you will not get your makeup look as flawless and as natural as you would like 
that is what I use to apply my eyeshadow because it's more controllable than a brush and you don't need to buy these because most eyeshadows come with one of these inside let me just go over the stuff that you will need for your starter kit you need a powder brush a stipple blush this is not essential a concealer you need a red lipstick you need a liquid eyeliner a black eyeliner pencil um, a brown eyeliner pencil a spoonie or an eyebrow comb you're gonna need an eyebrow brush or one of these flat surface brush will do your foundation mascara and powder that's all you need for your makeup starter kit when I just started off doing my own makeup these are all the brushes I own for months these are all the brushes I need I use a stipple brush a powder brush a eyebrow brush eyebrow comb and one of these spongy stuff that comes in your um, eyeshadows this is all I was using for months and and I was still getting compliments on my makeup. People still used to meet me and ask me, like, what do you use on your face? Your face always looks so flawless. I like your makeup. Oh, guys, I hope this video was helpful. And I hope that it, it have answered a lot of the questions that I've, been, that I've been getting. Especially the beginners who've been asking me, like, what do I need to get to get my makeup look like yours? What do I need to do, like... You don't need to spend $100, $200 on MAC and other expensive products to get a flawless finish. Elf is not available in your country makeup store. I have a list of, a list of other liquid eyeliners that might be available to you. But mostly when getting a liquid eyeliner, all you need is to make sure for a beginner, make sure that the tip of the eyeliner is like this. May not brush because if it's a brush it would be harder to con control but if it's like this mostly like a pencil tip or a pen tip this is more easier to control than the brush these products that i just show you are all that i use to achieve this look and this is what I'm, this look is what i've been wearing for months before i start experimenting on other makeup you're going to work you can use this look you're going to the club you can use this look you can use this look every day but if you want to see me create this look using only the products that I've just shown you then please guys stay tuned <music>